Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you that have a car that starts fine when it's cold, cold engine, but when the engine warms up and the vehicle is hot, it will not start or it will start crank very slow or you will hear uh, noises, grinding noises coming from the engine starter. Stay with us and we will explain guys what causes that and how to fix it. Now, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't matter if you have a uh, German, American, Asian vehicle, whatever it is guys, we will explain what can cause that. But before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. If you need to buy new parts, tools for your car, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price, quick shipping as well. Number two, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least guys, two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. So we have that Porsche Cayenne guys, doesn't matter if it's a Porsche, okay, it's not much different car than anything else, just the name guys, in my opinion, uh, but when we actually guys, okay, have the vehicle with a cold engine, it cranks really good, it's fast, it starts the engine, no problem, but once we drive it on the highway for an hour or so, and you stop at the gas station, you try to restart it, sometimes it doesn't want to crank. You have to turn the key a second time and it will start cranking very slow. It will be like, and then it will start. And you wonder, okay, what causes that? It could be three different things, guys. Now, even though, okay, uh, people say it's bad battery, it is possible, guys, but uh, usually when you drive your vehicle and you have hot engine, uh, the battery probably will be charged some guys, so most likely it's not that the case, but I would recommend to use a battery tester, something simple like that too guys can be super effective, what it does, it can test uh, the battery, the cranking test and, crank, uh, and charging test as well guys, so it tells you if the battery is actually good under load. If that checks out, what I would recommend, okay? Uh, you will usually need to locate your starter. Ours is usually located here, but we have it removed because I want to show you a few things on what went bad in ours. But that's your positive cable coming from the car battery. You need to do a battery voltage test, guys. Drop test. Uh, battery uh, voltage drop test, guys. What that consists of, okay, uh, you need to check, okay, find your vehicle battery. For instance, ours is located under the driver's seat. Yeah, I told you Porsche, it's a little bit weird about things, but uh, that guy's battery, find positive negative terminal, get a voltmeter and check the voltage. Let's say you get 12.7 volts on the battery. Then what you need to do, you need to check the voltage, okay, on that positive cable coming from the engine starter. Don't remove it from the starter because if you touch it to ground, you can short things out. All we need to do, we, we have the starter installed, get the negative LED, okay, on the engine box somewhere, scrape it a little bit to be shiny, and uh, or ground wire, and then the positive on the battery cable coming to the engine starter, and if you guys get a voltage uh, that's equal to the battery voltage, that means you have good starter cables. Otherwise, guys, it could be a bad cable, okay, that's uh, losing some voltage on the way to the starter. Now, okay, all that being said, guys, what else it could cause that? Corrosion, okay, where the uh, cables attach to the starter. Usually, you will have two cables, one is for the ignition, one is for the battery. Uh, feeding cable. So clean the corrosion, reinsert it, see if that fixes the problem. If that doesn't guys, most likely you have heat soak problem. What's a heat soak? Heat soak is your engine will produce heat. The starter will be at places where it can be really hot. For instance on that Porsche, it's between the V, you can see it's a V8 engine, that's always hot there, always hot. So uh, what that will do actually, okay, will make the starter really hot or it could be close to a uh, uh, exhaust manifold as well. That heat under the hood will make your starter, guys. Okay, there is a special formulas and things like that, but uh, the resistance, okay, of the electrical components will increase with heat, so uh, you will need more power to actually turn that starter. But sometimes, guys, uh, that heat actually, what it will do, it will fry the grease in the starter. Check this thing out, that looks like grease, that's completely fried, it looks like jelly guys, it's super thick, it's really hard to move and that makes your starter to spin really hard. You usually have two bearings, you have multiple moving gears inside, you can see everything is guys down, like that grease is like, uh, it's so hard that... Uh, 
uh, so sticky that actually it doesn't lubricate anything and it slows the starter down which produces even more heat and at that point you can even melt your brushes guys you can see in the roller here how black it is we clean it on this side you can easily recycle it guys clean everything good put new brushes lu lubricated with uh, special starter grease and that will take care of your problem guys if you don't want to mess with it just get a new one we have a link in the description of the video below where you can get a starter for a really good price thank you for watching guys please subscribe to our channel for more help and see you guys next time